Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for those who have already subscribed and for those who are newly visiting my channel. Thank you and um, welcome. So I think I'm just gonna dive in right into it. In my last video, I did say that I was gonna talk a lot about breastfeeding and pumping and at times it may be at a nauseum, but it's just because I'm so passionate about it. I enjoy it thoroughly. I really, really, I don't know, like fell in love with breastfeeding. Uh, the fact that my son and I can just bond on a whole other level because I am breastfeeding, right? Like I almost see it as like, I'm the only one that can provide nutrition for him. Like obviously off, outside of formula, I'm the only one that can provide that for him. There's nobody else. Like Eric can't do that. My my mom can't do that. Nobody else can. Of course there's still no milk, but that's a whole other story. And so I just wanted to come here because I know breastfeeding is a topic that is very sensitive for moms who in the beginning want to breastfeed or not sure about breastfeeding, breastfeeding or who are like literally like gung ho about nursing. Um, I really think it's a sensitive topic because some women really, really want to breastfeed and aren't successful. Some women are not sure because they lack resources. They don't really know like, hmm, does it really benefit him? What's the difference? What are the huge differences between formula and, and breast milk? And then um, other women just don't want to breastfeed, which is totally fine. Um, but I definitely wanted to come here and talk about what has worked for me. Just a backstory. So my son was born, was born four months ago um, and I knew I was going to have to go back to work uh, in DC. We have about four months. Depending on where you work, they give you about four months, between three to four months off. So I knew that eventually I was going to have to go back to work, which meant I had to freeze some milk or build up a stash so that he can get fed while I'm at work. And so I would say maybe the first month or so I didn't start pumping. Actually, I started pumping at three weeks. I know they, at the hospital, they recommended that you establish nursing first, right? Establishing the baby to the breast, establishing that relationship, making sure that the baby's latched on properly, making sure that you have the right position that works for you and your baby, etc. Making sure that your milk is coming in. And then once that's established, you want to move on to pumping, right? So that's essentially what I did. The only time that I actually pumped early, early on was when I had my first real letdown. So uh, for moms who already gave birth, you already know what that is. So the big letdown or uh, engorgement is between three to five days post-op. So basically three to five days after your baby's born, you're going to have huge tatas like i know the nurse told me at the hospital but like there's one thing when the nurse tells you and you actually see it and feel it you literally feel like you are walking around with watermelons on your chest it is ridiculous and i'm <laughs> originally even well before the baby i'm a size a cup b cup like i have like no titties um, <laughs> but when my letdown happened, oh my gosh, I had like the biggest breasts that were full of milk. So basically that's really when your milk is coming in and you're going to start establishing your milk production. So at that moment, I, I think it happened for me on day three, like three days after the baby was born, the milk came in, my breasts were huge, they were hurting. I just had to get the milk out. So I had a pump for my insurance. I used it and I had to get the milk out. So that was like the first, first time I used my pump. And then after that, I didn't use it for another three weeks. So other than that time, I did not use it. So fast forward to when it's actually time to start building up my stash. So I read a lot, a lot rather, about what I had to do to maintain and to produce breast milk. So first thing first is nursing. You have to nurse. Breast milk is literally supply and demand. If you tell your body, hey, the baby needs milk, then you need to train it. So what you wanna do is nurse, nurse, nurse. You wanna nurse your baby on the man, put the baby to the breast, whether it's two to three hours. For me, Trey definitely was on the breast every like two hours, two to three hours in the beginning. I was exhausted, I was tired, um, but that's what he needed, so that's what we did. So nurse, 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 right? The more you put the baby to the breast, the more milk you're gonna get. And so I nursed a lot in the beginning. And then once I was done nursing with him because he would not empty out my breast, I would 
pump afterwards, right? So I would nurse him first, always, always nurse first, and then I would pump. So I would pump right after. And then I established a routine where I literally was pumping every three hours. So basically I would feed the baby, pump, feed the baby, pump, feed the baby, pump. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was another job in itself, but in the end, it was worth it. Um, I think I'll do another video and kind of show you guys how much milk I have, tips and tricks on storage. But for the purpose of this video, I just really want to come here quickly and kind of talk about how I was successful in getting um, a lot of breast milk. And I will have to say, though, um, I have an ex coworker. I think she put on her social media like how much milk she produced for her twins and she had like tons of breast milk. I, when I tell you tons, like her mama's freezer was full, her freezer was full, like they had a dig freezer, her fridge freezer was full. And I was just in awe at how much milk she had produced for her child. And I was like, oh, me too, me too. I want that. I could do that, right? For anybody that knows me, I'm super competitive. So I was like, oh, bet I could do that. So that like kind of like amped me up. That like made me want to like produce all this milk for my son. And so try to find either a buddy or somebody that's like in the same phase as you, uh, that has the same goal as you to nurse and to stash and just, you know, motivate each other and really just produce the milk. It really, really worked for me. Um, and again, these are only like tips that I'm sharing what worked for me. You just have to find what works for you. The second thing that I did, I know there's like a misconce misconception about, hey, if I drink more water, does it mean that I'm gonna produce a lot of breast milk? That's literally a misconception from what I read. Again, um, these are tips and tricks that I'm sharing. What I've done for me what may not work for you and vice versa. But I found that like if I just drank like to my thirst, which essentially you will be more thirsty because you're literally like, Breast milk is made out of like 90% or 88% of water. So if you're feeding your child all the time, he's taking out all that, all that fluid out, you're about to be thirsty. So from what I read, it's not that the more milk you get, the more water you get, the more milk you make. It's really just drinking to hydration. And essentially because you're breastfeeding, you're going to be thirsty. So it's going to balance, you know, it's going to balance out. The third thing that I've read and that I've done religiously is eat oatmeal there's something in the oatmeal that makes you have breast milk or maintain your breast milk i don't know what it is in the oatmeal per se again i was scrolling reading you know throughout my pregnancy i was like oh shoot like all right bet oatmeal i, I can stick with that then again there's like tons of stuff fruits and vegetables and you know herbs that you can take to maintain your milk production I like oatmeal, so I didn't mind eating oatmeal every day. In the beginning, I was eating it like out of a bowl regularly, but as of late, I've been doing a lot of smoothies. And I can talk about what kind of smoothies, um, what kind of smoothie I'm drinking right now, but it, it contains oatmeal. So pretty much every day I make a smoothie with oatmeal. So that's number three. And then number four, the last thing is rest. Childbirth is not easy. Taking care of a newborn is not easy. Um, I mean, it's just not. And you are going to be tired. I was fortunate enough to have my mom here for two months. She helped us out. She really did. And so I was able to get some rest. Um, Eric was amazing, super supportive, super helpful with the baby. I needed some rest and I was able to get it. And I really think that it helped me maintain not produce more but really maintain my milk production because i was resting my body had time to recuperate so i would definitely advise you to the best of your ability to try to rest and just let your body ease up a little bit let your body recoup from the birth of your child and that will definitely help in um, maintaining your milk production so those are really my four tips um and again what works for me may not work for you but these are like what i those are four tips that i definitely did religiously um it worked for me and you know i hope it works out for you guys i hope that you guys are able to maintain an adequate adequate milk production i hope that you guys are enjoying breastfeeding and nursing as much as i am with my little peanut 
um, let me know. Let me know what tips and tricks you guys have used or are using that worked for you. Subscribe, like, and comment on this video. All right, bye guys.